you know, I'm just chilling right now. I'm celibate. And I wanted to go a year without, me, you know, d dating any man. I hate men. No. Um, oh. <laughs> the unique rap diva and actress Nicki Minaj. Now we will tell you about the main men in her life. Welcome to the top art legends. Let's start with Aaron. Nikki's teenage love was an older boy named Aaron. She dated him while attending LaGuardia, the prestigious performing arts school in Manhattan. During this relationship, she became pregnant but decided to have an abortion, as she reveals in her album, The Pink Print. I can't fall for you, can't give my all to you, can't let you think that I'ma let the game... In an interview with the Rolling Stone, she admitted that it was her toughest decision because she had nothing to offer the child. After this, their relationship ended, and she decided to focus on creating her art. Safari Samuels. Look at the face, what a disgrace. I know they just met because they're not at my pace. I need it by grace. I need me a rake. Safari Samuels and Nicki Minaj were budding rappers who first met in 2000 in Queens. The couple started dating in 2002 when Nicki joined the group Hood Stars. Yeah, I heard you was icy hot. Hey, yo, Nick, yo, where you at? I'm at the Nike shop. Word, I gotta keep my tennis shoe game crazy. Which consisted of four rappers, Lou Star, 7up, Nicki Minaj, and Scaff Beezy, Safari Samuels. Later, they left the group to start solo careers. Nicki managed to secure a short-term deal with Dirty Money Entertainment and began to achieve success. Although Safari was never able to secure a contract, he was always by Nicki's side to support and promote her career. In 2009, Nicki signed a contract with Lil Wayne's Young Money Entertainment, after which her popularity soared, and she began to cement her place in the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. Safari remained without a contract, but began to gradually gain fame. He co-wrote Minaj's albums, Pink Friday, 2010, and Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded, 2012, and appeared in the music video for her song, Stupid Ho. Around that time, their relationship started to deteriorate. Nikki frequently annoyed Safari in public, and many noticed it almost immediately. The jacket, don't look the jacket looks great. Yes. I don't know what you're talking about, the but every great. woman in here is gonna like the jacket. Please, yeah. you, you wore a jean here. vest. However, clear signs appeared in July 2011, when Nikki allegedly had a fight with an unknown person in a hotel room and refused to press charges. Everyone believed this unknown person was Safari, although they both denied it. Instead of going out there and working, he decided he didn't want to work. And I said, it's okay, I'll figure it out. I'll book a show. He told me to stop trying to pursue rap. He told me that I was living in a fantasy world and it would never happen. They Him, his mother, and his sister stuff. called me a lazy bitch because I was pursuing my rap career. They tried to maintain their relationship for a while, but in 2014, they officially broke up. According to reports, the reason for the breakup was Safari's uncontrollable jealousy of Minaj's success. Rapper Drake. Go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. They never publicly stated they were a couple, but there were several obvious provocations. From the explicit lyrics in Drake's track Miss Me, where he raps, I love Nicki Minaj. I told her I'd admit it. I hope one day we get married just to say we say. To tweets asking fans to call Nicki Mrs. Aubrey Drake Graham. Their playful marriage in Nicki's Moment for Life music video. I waited all my life I could tell it's time and Nicki giving Drake a lap dance in her Anaconda video. While Drake openly stated that Nicki was the woman he would like to marry, she maintained that they were just friends. He, Drake is always mad at me. He always finds a reason to not be my friends anymore. <laughs> we're like an old married couple. Perhaps Nicki kept him in the friend zone as she began a relationship with Meek Mill. For more about Drake's relationships, check out our video. Rapper Meek Mill. I come through my black like on Rico. Popping the willy, no squilly, can talk to the cop, that's illegal. In 2013, they worked together in the studio on Meek's mixtape, Dream Chasers 3. Hey. 
The following year, during an interview with Power 106 radio station, when asked if they were dating, Nikki surprisingly responded, We're friends. However, at the beginning of 2015, they posted a selfie together on Instagram, indicating that they were indeed dating. This sparked a feud between the two closest people to Nikki, Drake, who liked her but was just a friend, and Meek, her boyfriend. Trying to stay out of the conflict, Nikki told the New York Times magazine, They're men, grown-ass men, she says. It's between them. You don't ever want to choose sides between people you love. Rumors of their engagement began to surface after Meek gave Nikki a 15-carat ring. Meek clarified that they were not engaged and shared about their relationship in an interview. It's definitely real, but it ain't really time to get married yet. We're still learning each other, feeling each other out. Nikki received another diamond ring from Meek for her birthday. That's not my engagement ring, though. He said that that's my second ring and that if I get a third ring, that that would be the engagement ring. So, do you want the third ring? Do you, are you ready to get engaged? You know, I don't know. We're still figuring each other out. These relationships seem destined for a happy ending, but unfortunately, they were not. Their relationship began to deteriorate, and they posted strange messages online. In January 2017, Nikki confirmed the rumors that she and Meek had broken up. And I, because I had a lot of anger and hate for him because of the way he handled the breakup publicly. And I know he was hurt, you know, he was like, look, this was my first time being in love and I didn't know how to handle it. And um, at a certain point, you have to forgive. And I have, I have forgiven him because he has come genuinely to me and asked for my forgiveness. Yeah. Nas. First it was nasty, but times have changed. Ask me now, I'm the artist. For hardcore, my signs for pain. A few months after Nikki tweeted that she was single, she began dating Nas. Although they never officially confirmed their relationship, they gave obvious hints. When Nikki appeared on The Ellen Show, she blushed deeply when asked about her relationship with Nas and simply said they were enjoying sleepovers. You've had sleepovers? Yep. Does he come to your house or do you go to his house? I go to him. I just thought, you know, him coming to me was too forward. They also posted similar photos on their social media pages, and Nikki was spotted at Nas's 44th birthday celebration. However, at the beginning of 2018, the couple broke up for unknown reasons. Legendary rapper Eminem. In 2018, when Nicki posted a video on Instagram lip-syncing to the song Big Bank. A fan asked if she was dating Eminem, and she simply replied, yes. The couple decided to playfully troll their fans. During a concert in Boston, Eminem asked the audience if he should date Nicki, and they applauded, God damn it, me too. Nikki, if you get this message, just text me later. We'll talk about it. You can learn more about Eminem's relationships in our video. Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton. This couple was seen together when they arrived arm in arm at the Tommy X Lewis 2018 launch party in New York City. And a few days later, they were spotted vacationing together. Bad bitch, she like six foot. I call a big foot. The bitch fell off. I said, get up on your good foot. Uh. During their trip, they posted similar photos of themselves on a quad bike in Dubai and were also seen together in a hotel elevator. It was most likely just a vacation romance. Kenneth Petty. Nikki met Kenneth when they were teenagers attending the same school. However, they lost touch and reconnected only in 2018, leading to a passionate romance. What does it feel like to have your man sitting beside you wearing your face? I mean, this, this is, is ultimate couple's goals right no, here. for real. And I was, I, was, I was taping his shirt in the car like, I'm a bad b This is crazy. <laughs> he understands her as a person, Minaj's friend Derek Milano told People in October 2019. I think that's what the connection really is with them. It's that he really knows her. It's a different type of connection. He's not famous. He doesn't want to be on Instagram. Like, that's not his M.O. He's really focused on her. However, Nikki's fans disapprove of her chosen partner due to Petty's past. Y'all should have never married him. Because cause now you've ruined everything about what your brand could be again. You're never going to stand a chance when you're with a man who pulls a knife at rape point. 
He is a registered level two sex offender in New York and spent several years in prison for first degree attempted rape and first degree manslaughter. Despite this, Nikki has never been swayed by others' opinions and didn't let her lover's past affect her decisions. I remember when I used to have a crush on special ed. Shout out designer cause he made it out of special ed. The couple got married in 2019 and the following year, they had a son. I think I have what I was striving for, just happiness said Nikki. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell. See you later on the Top Art Legends.